Welcome everyone! Today's video, we will go over a few of the interesting points of the Black Plague that devastated Europe. I hope you enjoy. If you can like and subscribe, it would help out our small channel a lot. The 14th century disaster was known in medieval times as the Great Pestilence or Great Plague. The Great Mortality was the term used by authors at the time of the plague. For the first time, the events were referred to as Black in Swedish and Danish chronicles from the 16th century. This likely referred to Black as depressing or horrifying and indicated the terror of the events. When he wrote about the Black Death in the 14th century, the German physician Justice Hecker suggested that a mistranslation of the Latin atre mors, terrible or black, death, had taken place in Scandinavia. English and German-speaking countries began to use the term black death more frequently. Number of deaths. In October 1347, a ship arrived in Messina, Sicily, originating from Crimea and Asia. Along with the sailors, there were rats on board the ship. The bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death, was brought by the rats. According to reports about the disease that reached Europe, 20 million people had perished in Asia. This was likely an underestimate given what occurred in Europe, as there were more people in Asia than in Europe. According to current best estimates, between 1347 and 1352, at least 25 million people died in Europe. This represented 60% of the population. Nearly 100,000 people, or half of Paris's population, perished. Italy's Florence saw a decline in population from 120,000 in 1338 to 50,000 in 1351. It took 150 years for Europe's population to recover from the plague, a catastrophe that is essentially unmatched in recorded history. I'm going to cut in with a brief 27-second interruption about an affiliate program I am promoting to help pay for the costs of the channel. I use them myself. If you're interested in trading but don't want to risk your money, check out Apex Trading where you can risk their money, not yours. It's a great way to make some side income, or even a full income. Visit the link in the description and use my coupon code for 50% off their packages. Thanks for your support. Now back to the video. The Plague Doctor Dress. An angle-length overcoat, a bird-like mask with a beak filled with sweet or pungent smells, gloves, and boots made up the Plague Doctor's outfit. The eyes of the mask were made of glass, a type of respirator with two small holes and straps held the beak in front of the doctor's nose. Dried flowers like roses or carnations, herbs like mint, spices camphor, or a vinegar sponge could all be kept in the beak. The mask's function was to eliminate unpleasant odors, which were believed to be the main contributors to the illness. Doctors thought the herbs would combat the evil plague odors and keep them from contracting the disease to signify their occupation a leather hat with a large brim was included in the costume. They examined patients without touching them, pointing out problem areas with wooden canes. The canes were also used to prevent people from approaching the plague victims and to remove their clothing without having to touch them. The plague has three formats. The three types of the plague affected people differently and caused a variety of signs and symptoms. The bubonic plague refers to the painful lymph node swellings, known as buboes, that commonly develop at the base of the neck, in the armpits, and in the groin. They ooze pus, emit a foul odor, and also bleed. The skin and underlying tissue of the victims were destroyed to the point where they were covered in dark blotches. Infected victims typically died four to seven days later. When the plague made its way to Europe, it first attacked port cities before moving along the trade routes on land and at sea. With a mortality rate between 30 to 75%, and symptoms including high fever, headaches, painful aching joints, nausea, and vomiting, as well as a general feeling of malaise, the bubonic plague was the most prevalent form during the Black Death. Four out of every five people who contracted the plague perished within eight days. An airborne disease called the pneumonic plague targets the lungs first before spreading to the rest of the body. The second most frequent type of plague during the Black Death, pneumonic plague, had a 90 to 95 percent mortality rate. The rarest and deadliest of the three types of plague is septicemic plague. Typically, an infected insect bite is how the disease is spread. The mortality rate from septicemic plague, which can result in disseminated intravascular coagulation, and is almost always fatal. It had a 99 percent mortality rate in medieval times. Rats. Two populations of rodents were necessary for the bubonic plague mechanism to work. One resistant to the illness, which serves as a host and keeps the disease endemic. 
and the other lacking resistance, the fleas spread to other hosts, including humans, after the second population dies, which results in an epidemic of human fleas. The black rat was thought to have been the first host of the fleas thought to have caused the black death. Yersinia pestis, the bacterium that caused the black death, was primarily endemic to a small number of rodent species and is typically spread zoonotically by the rat flea. The plague can affect many non-rodent species, including humans, dogs, and cats, in addition to brown rats. Newburgh Chronicle Jews were burned at the stake in the 14th century during the bubonic plague. Jews were accused of poisoning Christian wells, which were thought to be the source of the plague, and were perceived as being less susceptible to the plague than their neighbors, likely as a result of Jewish ritual regarding personal hygiene. Treatment Several plague treatments and wards used in medieval times include, if you scourge yourself with a whip like a flagellant, then God will have no reason to scourge you with plague. Plague is a punishment from God for your evil deeds. Apply a concoction of tree resin, white lily roots, and human waste. Bathing shouldn't be avoided, and you can do it in your own urine or with rose water and vinegar. Consume the lanced bubos pus. People are initially quarantined for 40 days. The word quarantine is Latin for 40 days, in Venice in 1348. To draw the pestilence out of the swellings, place a live hen close by. Then drink a glass of your own urine twice daily. Drink wine with an emerald that has been ground up. Consume snakeskin, stag, heartbone, Armenian clay, gold, silver, and other precious metals, as well as aloe, mirror, and saffron. Every morning and evening, drink warm beer mixed with the powdered shells of freshly laid eggs that have been roasted and mixed with treacle and marigold flowers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We love and appreciate you all. If you can like and subscribe and check out our affiliate link, it would help us out a ton. Have an amazing day.